attack. What do we do? Stand up, fight back. What do we do? Stand up, fight back. What do we do? Stand up, fight back. It's reflecting on the climate camp protest that we had in Newcastle on the weekend. Um, on the Saturday, the day before the actual action, we heard from Richard Dennis saying how the Australian government has lied. You know, IPCC reports one, two, three, four, five, six took no action. Um, it's still not committed to ending coal. We've still got something like 116 coal or fossil fuel projects in the pipeline. Really, you know, we, it's up to us to end this stuff. And, um, we went on a tour of the coal port on the Sunday and the first place we stopped, we were looking at a coal ship across the water there and um, Alexa Stewart, who had organised the school strike for climate, had said that one of the things that kept her going um, since then, and, you know, organising for the climate camp, was this song about people going to rise up um, and it's a beautiful song. You can hear people singing it. We just stood there and sang this song. We're going to rise like the water. We're going to face this crisis now. We're going to rise like the water. We heard from one of the organisers, Zach, there. He reiterated how the government lies. Um, and um, then he handed over to Julie Lyford, who said that um, we will not be silenced. She talked about the Gloucester, their fight against the fossil fuel companies. It took them 15 years, but they won in the end. But she was talking about the protest laws, and we have to overturn those protest laws. And she handed over to young Pip from Lismore, who had experienced the plot floods, who'd lost her possessions. And Pip was saying the worst thing about those floods, it wasn't, you know, the smell of rotting fish or the floodwaters, the, the widespread destruction, people's goods piled up like rubbish in the streets. It wasn't the fact that, um, you know, they'd lost everything. It was Morrison's skulking visit, his refusal to meet with them and talk to them, and the fact that in the same week that they were coming up with all these promises about recovery package this and recovery package that, they gave $7.5 million to fossil fuel companies for exploration. Shortly after that um, was when we first saw the arrestees walking past from the coal wagons, and people started chanting, this is what democracy looks like, which is standing up against that shit. And of course, thematically, later on, it led to the question, of course, of coal. What is it good for? And um, it's not good for anything. And so, of course, they just don't dig it. Coal! <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. What is it good for? Absolutely nothing! Absolutely nothing. An inspiring sight there too was um, Violet Coco, who was amongst the arrestees. And in the 30 minutes that she was in that penned area where the police had them, she just spent that whole time singing gently. I couldn't, don't know exactly what the song was, but I think it's, um, it is an inspiring thing, the power of song. It really shows that people have agency and that, you know, singing together, it gives us some kind of energy and strength and we will resist it and we will win. We will stop cold exports from Newcastle by 2030. And that's only the start.